So at the beginning of the story, we see a big ship on fire, and there is a lot of fire. A small boat passes by the same ship in which four people were sitting and going somewhere. They also had some stuff, but suddenly their boat collided with something in the water and stopped while they were walking. Now one of the four people looks down in the water, and suddenly a very scary hand comes out of the sea, which pulls that man and brings him with him, and their stuff also falls into the water. Now no one knows what happened to those people. In the story, we are shown an island called Antonio, where a girl is sitting in the lighthouse there, telling everyone that our forefathers, i.e., the idols of our ancestors, have been made. Because of their sacrifices, this city is settled today and is also very rich. One of them was my grandfather's grandfather. Now the girl who was sitting in the lighthouse was saying everything on the radio. His name was Steve. Let's see the statues of those elders. And this island was also run by the generations of these elders, i.e., their children were settled here. In the story, we see a boy named Nick who had gone to catch fish in the sea with some of his companions and a friend. Suddenly his boat, the anchor of the boat, falls down and gets stuck. He was stuck in a bag, and this was the same stuff that we saw in the beginning of the story near those four men who had fallen in the water and had been there for many years. Now the anchor of their boat had come up, but because of it, the bag opened, and all the stuff came out of it, in which there was a very old comb and a watch. Nick was now going to take the clutch of his boat, which was broken because it got stuck there. On the same way, he meets a girl whose name is Elizabeth. She was a very old friend of Nick's. Nick was very happy to see her like this. He was meeting Elizabeth after six months. Nick also goes to take the clutch with him. When he goes to the shop, an old man comes to Elizabeth and shows her a watch. This was the same watch that had come out of that bag, and this old man had found it on the shore of the sea. When Elizabeth starts touching that watch, the old man says to her, No, you can't touch it because doing this will change a lot. But still, Elizabeth takes that watch in her hand by doing this, the watch that had been closed for many years. She also sees the mark of a scale on that watch. Then Nick also comes back after finishing his work there. Seeing him, the old man had gone from there. Both of them also go from there. After this, we are shown to Steve, whom his friend had called. He also used to work in the lighthouse like this. He tells Steve that I have just seen on radar that a very deep fog is coming towards our island. Hearing this, Steve was quite surprised. Then Nick was also going to his house with Elizabeth. Then suddenly something comes from his car and hits him, due to which the glass of his car broke. Seeing such a terrible accident, both are scared. Then a father came to them, said this, and went from there. There will be blood in place of blood. Hearing this, both of them were very scared. Elizabeth also comes to her mother's house. Her mother was very happy to see her. But later, she tells him, you should have told me. Hearing this, Elizabeth was angry. She leaves her mother's house and comes out where Nick is still standing. When he looks at her like this, he realizes that his mother had a fight with him. That's why he came to his house with Elizabeth. Both of them were sleeping at night. Then suddenly, Elizabeth gets scared and wakes up. She had a very terrible dream in which she saw herself drowning in water, and some people are jealous. Here it is found that Nick used to come to Elizabeth all the time. Now she gets up and searches for the same mark on her computer that she had seen on the clock, a mark on a scale, because he was now coming into her dreams too. That's why her computer suddenly stopped. Drops of water started dripping from the roof above her. When Elizabeth looks up, she sees marks from wet feet. It seemed as if someone was walking upside down on the roof. She came out following those marks where there was a lot of fog. That fog had surrounded Elizabeth from all sides. Suddenly Nick also comes from behind, taking her inside the house again. On the other hand, we see Nick's friends, who were partying with their female friends in the sea by taking his boat. There is fog all around his boat. Nick's friend contacted him for help, but due to too much fog and cold, he was not able to contact anyone. Now all the things in his boat are exploding. When Nick's second friend goes to check the engine, he comes out and sees that there is a very big ship in which some people are also there. He calls his friend to show him the same ship, but when he came there, there was no one there. Then something comes and attacks his boat, because of which the two girls who were with him died. The next day, Nick gets a call from his uncle. He tells him that your friend did not come home last night, meaning he was his friend's dad. He took your boat and went to a party with his friend. Hearing this, Nick now takes Elizabeth in a boat and goes to find his friend where he found his boat in the sea. But when they went inside, the boat was in very bad condition. Elizabeth tells Nick that something is definitely wrong here. When she looks at the boat, Nick finds his friend's dead body and also sees the dead bodies of the two girls in the net in the sea. When Elizabeth checks the boat a little more, she finds Nick's second friend, who was sitting in the fridge. Actually, 
He was hiding here for fear of the night's laughter. Nick's friend tells him that a very deep storm has surrounded our boat from all sides. Now Nick has found a camera from the boat, which he takes and gives to Elizabeth, telling her to take care of it. He also says that maybe we can get some information from this camera about what attacked our boat last night. Who knows if there is any record in it? Now Elizabeth was watching the recording of the camera sitting in Nick's boat house, from which she learned that her friend was telling the truth. The same storm had attacked and killed all of them. Now to tell all this, Elizabeth was going to meet Nick, but her foot slipped while going, and she fell into the water. It seemed that no one wants to tell Nick all this. With her, the camera also falls. Elizabeth saves herself and tries to get out of the water with the help of a wall. But then she got a very old book from there, which she now takes to her father. This book was given to her by her father, who had said that there would be blood for blood. Elizabeth came to her father because this book was written by her father's father. But the father refuses to tell Elizabeth about this book and tells her to go away, or no one will be alive. Elizabeth finds her father's words very strange, so she now takes this book and goes to Nick. In the middle of the island, there was an island that was considered to be a very big island for business and where people were very rich, but due to the spread of a disease, it was destroyed on the island. There were only a few people left there. They took their ship to Antonio, that is, the island on which he was now living, and left for it. The leader of the ship could live here comfortably, but the people living here cheated the leader. They looted all his money, and all the people on his ship were closed and set on fire. And this was the same scene where we saw the ship burning at the beginning of the story. The souls of the people burning on the same ship have now returned here and want to take revenge on the people living here. Then we see Steve. Steve's son had brought him from the shore of the sea. Steve extinguishes the fire. At that time, the mark of the same scale of a wall was formed, which was on the watch and comb. Now she calls her son and says that next time you will not bring anything from the sea to the house. There, in the hospital, Nick was with his friend. Then Elizabeth goes to the mortuary, where Nick's other friends have died. When she shouts, he falls down and dies again. On the other side of the sea, the same man who had a watch sees a rope there when he pulls it towards him. It seemed as if he was pulling a smoke cloud towards him. Steve's son was also here and was watching all this. That's when the smoke started coming from behind him. Steve's son runs into his house, and quickly, his grandmother closes the door. Steve's son was at his grandmother's house, his mother's. Now there was smoke all over the island. Steve was sitting at the same time, talking to his friend. That's when the lights turn off from all sides. Steve's friend's laptop was on, and suddenly someone knocked on his door. Steve was talking to his friend. She forbade him to open the door, but he opened the door and came out, where a soul in the smoke burned him and killed him. Steve was very scared and immediately called his son, who was at his grandmother's house, but because of the bad weather, she was not getting a call. That's why she comes on now and says that because of the bad weather, a lot has gone wrong, and she also tells about her friend's death and also says that my son is in trouble. Please, is there anyone who can help me at this time? Nick had heard his words on the radio. He quickly took Elizabeth and left to find Steve's son. On the other hand, we see the statues of the elderly, which a lot of people have come to see. At that time, the whole city's light had also gone. Steve also goes out to find his son, but suddenly his car is closed on the way. There was a lot of smoke there. That smoke had surrounded Steve's car from all sides. That's why a truck hits his car from the front, because no one can see anything because of the smoke. His car had fallen into the water while eating a bulb. Steve tries to get out of the water, but there is a soul in the water who holds his leg and pulls him towards himself. But somehow she got out of the water. On the other hand, Steve's mother, who was at home, had also burned her mother. When his son looks at his grandmother like this, he has locked himself in the room. But the soul in the smoke had also come to his room and was about to kill Steve's son. But then Nick goes there, having saved Steve's son. They put him in the car and drove away from there, but he also had an accident because he had not seen anything. They also walk ahead. Steve had also reached him. They all go together to Antonio Hall, where Elizabeth's mother and the rest of the people were. They all close the doors together. Then a dead body falls inside, which was that of Nick's friend's father. After which the soul in the smoke had also come inside, who had killed Elizabeth's mother first, and who had done wrong with that leader. Then that soul kills the father. Actually, it was the same leader's soul that the people here had betrayed. That soul comes to the graveyard with the mayor of the city. That soul gives the mayor a contract. These were the same documents that the leader had given them before. After which the leader's soul also burns him and kills him. All this was seen by Nick and Elizabeth, standing there quietly. After which Elizabeth goes to that leader. After which Elizabeth also turned into a soul. 
Here we come to know that actually Elizabeth was the second birth of the leader's wife, and that's why she had such dreams that she saw the ship burning and the marks of the scales along with a clock that she had started walking as soon as she got it. Nick was also watching all these things, and as soon as he saw them, everything disappeared. After this, we are shown the scene of the next day, where Steve is talking about what happened yesterday, and no one knows why all this happened. But yes, everyone was killed because of their mistakes, and everything comes back to take its revenge. That is, the danger was not over yet. Nick also throws that book into the sea, which was given to Elizabeth in the same attempt to show that maybe now this death soul will not come to their city again, and with this, the story of this dangerous soul ends here.